Hi everybody, Co here with an early, early thoughts video on Starfield. I have now played this game for about six and a half hours. And so far, for me, this game is awesome. It is the least buggy Bethesda experience that I have ever experienced. There are still some bugs, but it is a lot more solid than I'm used to from Bethesda. It is essentially a Fallout framework that has been updated in, in many small ways, but still a Bethesda game at heart. You can still feel it the being the Bethesda game. And frankly, it is pretty much meeting and, ex, and, and ex, meeting and exceeding every expectation that I had so far for it. The music so far has been great. The graphics have been pretty dang good. The performance has been great inside locations. So I'm talking like probably 120 frames on inside locations, like silky, silky smooth. There have been a few locations on the outside that have felt a tiny bit framey, but I think it's just in comparison to the inside areas. The itemization seems cool. There seems to be a rarity system on top of all the different items on top of a modding system. The armor and everything looks great. The locations have been very unique so far, and I've definitely enjoyed everything I've, I've seen and done just so far. Uh, we've done a little bit of light base building, and it seems to work. It seems to work pretty well. Um, we've only been doing harvesting and stuff though. We haven't really put together like any major outposts or anything, but you know, you can connect outposts and ship stuff around and manufacture stuff. So that all seems pretty cool. Uh, the procedural stuff we've done so far. I wonder if I'm going to look back on this. Cause I have to say we've done like one main procedural dungeon and it's been really, really cool. Like really cool. Like I basically picked a random place to land and there was this abandoned place nearby and I went into there and explore it. And there was like a basement to it. And it's like this huge dungeon. So I don't know if this is just really lucky. I mean, obviously there can't be a ton of this, but it's actually been awesome so far, which is very surprising. But yeah, I have to say that as many of you know, that are watching this, I have entered this game with expectations that I, that I like to say I tempered, you know, I was not expecting a game of the year. I was not expecting an amazing gameplay performance. I was expecting a Bethesda game with a large, big open world and tons of items and mechanics to explore and places to explore and all that kind of stuff. And that is what I'm getting so far. As somebody who really enjoyed Fallout 4 and pretty much all other Bethesda games um, for what they are, that is what I am getting in this game with Bethesda being in its best form so far. So is this a perfect game that's bug free? No. Is it the most bug free Bethesda game? Yeah, it seems like it's so far with my six and a half hours. And I have to say that at this point, I am thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying my time in it. Um, I was a little bit worried, no question that I was going to start playing this game. And we were, we were going to be talking in this video about how this was not it, but I can thankfully say that I am very much enjoying No Man's Skyrim and that I think that Skyfield is going to be great and Fallout in Space is really doing it for me. So, yeah, that's kind of where we are. Uh, obviously, I've only been doing six and a half hours. I'm very, very small down the main quest path line. Uh, I have a lot left to do, and I'm going to be doing that. So over the next few days, feel free to drop in. I'm happy to give you an update on how things are going. I am specifically making this thoughts video before the game comes out. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts before you pull the trigger on buying it, then, well, here they are. I hope they help you make your own purchase. And of course, the best thing I can recommend is maybe very briefly uh, skip around some of my gameplay, see if it's your thing, see if you like it. And then of course, make your own informed decision for yourself. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. See you at twitch.tv slash go carnage. And uh, yeah, I'm going back to playing more. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.